In Dunedin's Southern Cemetery lie the graves of two Dunedin suffragists, Marion Hatton and Helen Nicol, who along with a third, Harriet Morrison, helped organise the Dunedin contribution to the 1893 petition, a petition which eventually saw New Zealand women get the vote. Former history professor Dorothy Page says the achievement was a formidable one. They said at the beginning they wanted to make sure that every street, every house was canvassed. I'm not sure how far they did. 60% of the eligible women in South Dunedin signed. Um, I think it's just hard work to some extent. And uh, they went to the outlying districts. So Hatton went down to Gore. There was a huge meeting down there. Were it not for the suffragette movement, the three women might not have known each other. But Dr Page says they did possess similar qualities. They're different in that way, one, one English, one Scottish, one Irish. Um, they all came from, however, highly achieving, cult, uh, useful sort of backgrounds. Following the success of the petition, Dunedin women used their influence to stymie the hopes of mayoral candidate Henry Fish. They did realise that they could dispose of Fish, and they did so, and he acknowledged that it was the women's vote that, that uh, lost in the mayoralty. He held it for six terms, six one-year terms. So he was quite uh, deeply established. The legacy of the hard work the suffragists put into the 1893 petition continues to this very day. In Dunedin, the South today.